What up, players? It's Warboss Tamp in this mug. Today we are going to unbox a Warhammer Fantasy Night... No, actually, not a Night Goblin. Regular Goblin Shaman. And uh, I love this little guy. He's so characterful. He is just so fantastic. He's a great sculpt. And uh, I love that he's in such a cool non-action pose. It's rare to see a good non-action pose from a GW sculpt. This is one of them. So the first thing right off the bat you'll notice when you're in the store looking at these figures is that this little clamshell is I think probably the cheapest any single character figure that I've seen in Games Workshop in a long time. And I don't know if it's because my local retail shop priced these guys that low or if it's just a sign of the times, but I am like pretty amazed by how how relatively less expensive this guy was from other clamshells, uh, characters, single figures and stuff. So let's take a look at the painted model and what it's supposed to look like. You've got a skull at the top of the staff with a, what looks to be like a little red ruby or gem in the eye. You've got the great looking wolf tail, brown fading into a white and what looks to be like a chicken claw, can you believe that? And on the other side a little moon icon. And then you've got the goblin himself, he's got a red top knot. And I love the paint job. This is the exact same way that I would paint my goblins with a little bit of a fleshy tone to the lips and the nose to kind of um, give him a little bit of a break. I, I remember all of my old goblins I painted originally because goblins and orcs and goblins were my first army. I painted them all very cartoony and green and like bright green and you can kind of tell from looking at these guys that their skin tone kind of fades into like a bone or a white color. Look at the brow, the eyebrow and the ridge uh, at the top of the ears and you can see that it, the green fades into a white rather than uh, or a bone white rather than like a yellow which is uh, how I learned to paint orcs and goblins way back in the day. So you also notice it on the knuckles of his hand and his toes they fade into a white highlight and I, I love that. Uh, I love the, the how they did the nose and the lips with the kind of uh, flesh tone, pink flesh tone and I love how he's stirring a skull full of soup or mushroom fungus. So fantastic, great. While I get the frame ready, I'm just going to state that this is a July painting challenge appreciation video for Feral Strike. My boy Feral Strike has been doing this for three years now, I believe. Three years, this was his third year. He is one of the hallowed veterans of the July painting challenge and I, I love every single project he does. They're all orcs and goblins <laughs> related from the ones that I've seen so far. His July painting challenge videos are all about orcs and goblins and um, he is a master of creating an awesome themed fluffy list. So check him out. He's great. His orcs and goblins hail from the Badlands and that's where their area of operations is. So a very characterful, very fluffy army and um, this video is to celebrate him. Also because he did this model I believe. Okay, so you've got five pieces and uh, you've got the base, you've got the hand stirring the, the skull soup, the cape, the main part of the goblin body, which also has the right arm. All right, let's get a little bit of better focus there. And you've got the head right up here. Yeah, oh, the head is connected to the, the hand. So, all right, I'm gonna clip all these out. Another good thing to do is check the back of your clamshell pack because it comes with it actually comes with instructions on which part goes in which direction and what order so you start with the base number one then you glue on the body number two number three you glue on the head and the hand that part number four the back and number five um the staff there and that is just so that i, th I think if you look back at my unboxing an old one a saurus old one or yeah old blood i'm sorry it was called an old blood he uh, came together all wonky, his tail was all done wrong because I didn't follow the order. And even with Lewis, Lewis, where are you? Lewis, wake up. Ah, I was sleeping, dreaming of sexy Asians and Latina women. Uh, when I glued him together, I did not follow the order. And so his little, what is this, Lewis? It's my cape crest. It makes me look like a sea monster. I um, didn't glue it when I should have, so I had to really finagle to get it. And you can even see it's still kind of crooked on the left side by the head. It's like this little this little spine there is hanging down too low because I couldn't get it around. 
because I'd already put the staff in a simple uh, a simple mistake which would have been easily rectified had I read the back of the clamshell. I like it tilted. It's because I represent the west side. Laters! Alright, so I'm going to build this guy up using the instructions that GW provided and we will show you what the finished model looks like in just a second. And there he is, our finished built up ready for paint night goblin or <laughs> I keep saying night goblin goblin shaman uh, I love how he put together really easily it made uh, perfect sense all the glue points were really well positioned and the uh, mold line was very easily hidden because there's one really bad mold line along the shoulder and behind the collar and it is almost completely hidden by the cape there that goes down the back. So, fantastic job, great, great sculpt, Games Workshop designers, and uh, I love this little guy. He is fantastic. He's terrific. I think every Orcs and Goblins collector should get one just to put in their collection. I, I said before that I like the pose, and that's because there's some other night uh, Orcs and Goblins shamans that are very uh, bombastic with their poses, like they're calling down the the green lightning from the sky and this guy is just chilling mixing his brew and kind of biding his time and uh, he's he's obviously got some power in him but he's not his mouth isn't gaping open and un, his jaw isn't unhinged and he's not it doesn't look like he's screaming at the top of his lungs so I really like the restraint in the sculpt and I, I love all the little details that chicken claw is amazing I'm gonna paint it yellow I think it's orange in uh, in the the art, but I'm gonna paint it like a true chicken claw. At least I think chicken claws are orange. I don't know, I have to go do my research. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Check out Feral Strikes channel if you have not yet. Fantastic guy, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers and his, his projects and his videos are always great fun to watch. Thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Latest players.